Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Douglas Lyons' new comedy, Chicken and Biscuits, has come to Broadway's Circle in the Square. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company, led by Norm Lewis and Michael Urie. And our coverage is sponsored by 1-800-Flowers.com. Whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or special event, like an opening night, celebrate your friends and family with a bouquet or arrangement by 1-800-Flowers.com. Welcome to Broadway. How does it feel? <laughs> it feels like hallelujah It's what it feels like. I'm having the time of my life. You know, I moved here to do Broadway. Was here 10 years, did not do Broadway, but I did bus and trucks and national tours. I did about, so here I am. I've been in Los Angeles for many, many years. It feels amazing. I'm so ecstatic to be here and to be with a show that I'm so proud of. Right? With Douglas Lyons writing, Jalen Levingston's directing. I'm ecstatic and we're making history in 30 Broadway debuts on stage and off stage. I'm ecstatic. It doesn't get any better. If I had written this story, it wouldn't have been this good. <laughs> I've spoken to your cast. They are amazed about the incredible rehearsal room that you have presented. Michael Yuri said it was the finest rehearsal room he has ever been in with a director. So open and so free. Talk about that. Well, I tipped them. I tipped them. <laughs> no, um, I, you know, I just firmly, I said this tonight on stage, believe how you make is as important as what you make, and that I center uh, the humanity of everyone first. I feel like Cinderella at the ball. That's why I'm dressed like this. I feel like Cinderella, and I'm just, I'm so excited. Like, you never know what a dream can do. This is not expected, and somehow we're here, and we're bringing joy to audiences after a very difficult 18 months. So that's what I'm celebrating tonight, joy. Circle in the Square, the first time I was at Circle in the Square was for True West with yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman and, and John C. Wright. I've been back for Rocky Horror and uh, the Norman Conquest and uh, Once on this Island and Oklahoma. I, every time, it's a new experience and every time you feel like you're a part of the show. Well, this show, it needs that. Yeah. It, it, it invites the audience to be part of it. There is a, you become, you, the audience, yeah. become our congregation. And it is a thrilling experience every night to feel the audience realize, oh, I'm in this play right now. I'm a part of this play right now. These stories are already out there. It's just told through the eyes of African Americans, but it's the same story. This is very Neil Simon. You know what I mean? Like this is uh, very much of like a lot of these, these great writers that are out there, but it's telling it through the eyes of just this one culture, this one family. There's so many people who said, oh my God, that's my sister, that's my aunt. And they're from different faiths and different cultures. So, you know, I'm just glad that we are doing it this season. Getting to be the fish out of water in a play like this and getting to... <laughs> I saw it coming. Wow. You trying to kill me? Is Miles back there? My, is my understudy back there? 